Hey, Desi. Hey, Alyssa. This is uh, Rob and Brian for Rob Has a Podcast. Uh, great job on uh, the challenge all season long. I, I have to start with Desi. Desi, uh, everybody's uh, heart went out to you after how this all came to an end uh, for you. Um, I, I I don't even know what to ask uh, <laughs> other than, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, how are you doing now after uh, all these months later, after having Enzo be the reason why you got eliminated? Yeah, I mean, I'm healed sort of now. I, I feel like I was totally healed. I had gotten over it, so to speak, until I rewatched the episode last night. And then again, I was like, screw Enzo. Um, <laughs> So obviously devastate, like you could tell I was devastated in the moment. Like I hate that I cried so hard, but I just literally was like, I know I can win this, but now I can't. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, Enzo's not my favorite person. I feel like it's a, you know, it was a pretty big difference. Like, I feel like without him, I would be $250,000 richer, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. Did, did you guys talk at all much after? I mean, we saw him kind of apologizing on the beach a little bit, not much, but like, what was the conversation like afterwards? Was he a little bit more apologetic when it sunk in a little bit more? It took him a while to become more apologetic. Um, I will say his initial reaction was just like, oh, I'm going to look like an idiot on TV. <laughs> like, that was the first thing he said to me. And I was like, ah, who cares? Like, you created this for yourself. Like, yeah, you should look like an idiot on TV. Um, days later, he did come back and apologize. He said he felt awful, um, but that was not his initial reaction. Like the producer was like, what do you have to say to your partner? And that's why he came up and apologized on the beach. Um, so yeah, it was, I feel like telling, like I am not a quitter. At no point in my life have I like quit anything. I literally went into the final, like if I'm not dead, I'm not going to quit. Um, so yeah, we are, we are, I'm okay with Enzo. Like we're not texting each other, but. I yeah. can talk about him. <laughs> yeah. Um, just w w one other thing on that. In, in the finale, it seemed uneven of like where some people, okay, you didn't do the thing, you're out. Other people, uh, oh, you you timed out of uh, this one. That w Was that frustrating to watch, uh, to see what things that they really were uh, very much, okay, you're, you're out of the competition if you uh, didn't complete this? Um, for me, I mean, I know Desi can relate to, cause we talked about it when big brother, they tell you every rule, every aspect of it, they will not start it, the competition, the challenge until everyone knows every question's answered. A lot of the times we didn't know if there was going to be a tiebreaker. We didn't know, okay, is this allowed, but this isn't allowed. The rules are very vague. Um, so it is upsetting that the final, they couldn't just be a little yeah. more strict when it came to the rules and the understanding because with the Angela situation, it's not like she would just quit. Angela is not a quitter. Um, there was a strategic reason why. And I think if she knew she couldn't do it, she wouldn't have done that. So um, it is a little annoying that even for the final of a new challenge show, they couldn't get that together. So, Yeah, I would say it's frustrating, but not based upon the entire season. And our lack of clear understanding of the rules is kind of, mm -hmm. over the course. Frustrating, but not shocking. Yes. Alyssa, we saw one of your big kind of things you wanted to accomplish this season was kind of proving yourself. You talked about that in the final, proving yourself after what happened with with with, with uh, Big Brother. Do you feel you accomplished that? Do you, do you feel like you accomplished everything you set out to do for, for this season? I do. I'm really, really proud of myself. I definitely walked in feeling kind of insecure just because of my weight and my size. I didn't really know how well I was going to do. Um, and I did every challenge. I didn't quit. I'm really proud of myself. I won an elimination when no one was really thinking me and Leo were going to win it. Um, I feel like strategically, I was trying more as far as strategically playing the game as well. And I feel like I aligned myself when I needed to. And I am overall as a, as the challenge experience, really proud of myself. Desi, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, the episode a couple of weeks back where you had the choice of sending somebody into the elimination and you were getting a, a lot of pressure from people on all sides of the house. And ultimately, uh, that was when Cash ended up going into the elimination. Can you just talk through from your perspective uh, why that was ultimately the decision? Yeah. Um, so 
I don't know. There, there was there was a lot. Obviously, I went back and forth for we went back and forth for days yeah. until literally the last hour when I was like, okay, whatever, Danny. Um, but the reason was so hard was because one from probably like week two, I had this really tight alliance with Danny and Dom. Um, like we called ourselves the Triple D Alliance. Like we, it was never really shown on TV, but we were a super tight alliance. So when they betrayed me by like creating this alliance that I was supposed to be a part of with Alyssa and Angela, like I just felt hurt and betrayed. Um, but also truthfully, like, I feel like the fab five became a bigger thing than it actually was. I don't know if Alyssa can attest to this, but I feel like there was no point in the game where like Cash and I were even like really friends or really working together. And so mm -hmm. when that fab five was said on the boat in that moment was the first time I had heard of the fab five. So Sarah saying it like cheers to the fab five and then Cash screaming fab five. Like that mm -hmm. was my first knowledge of the fab five. And so I was happy, like I, I was close with Justine, Kayla, Sarah, but there was never a point in the game where I was close with Cash. So I was really okay with throwing Cash in. The only reason I was so hesitant was because I felt like my two closest allies had betrayed me so deeply, so far in the game. Um, so I don't know if that like makes it make sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then the final part of that is like, I feel like in these like single person eliminations, the person who's the same gender as the challenger, like it's going at a disadvantage because we don't right. know if we can't agree, am I gonna go in or is it gonna be a house vote? It could be one or the other, but it's not worth ruffling feathers if it's gonna force me to go into the elimination arena, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Alyssa, one of the more interesting dynamics coming into this season was all the BB23 people coming in, um, especially with your relationship with Xavier. You seemed pretty set on wanting to take him out, get a little revenge for what happened during your season. Looking back, do you, th do you think you would have had a little bit more success if you worked with him and like this group of people? Or are you okay with like the decisions you make to, through this year? I mean, I literally made it right before the final. And the only reason why I got sent in was from a one vote. So I can't say me sticking with X would have got me farther. I know going in, nobody trusted Big Brother, especially BB23. Um, because we were the only season that just left six people. So I knew sticking with that is just going to hurt my game. And I knew out of the six, I'm at the low totem pole as far as if Tiffany had to choose between me and Aza going in, she would choose me going in. Kylan choosing between me and Tiffany, he would choose me to go in. I knew that I was at the bottom of that. So I needed to get out of that and work with people outside of that. And the only way I can make my words actually be true is showing that, hey, I'm okay with taking out one of my own. Um, so that was kind of the, the strategic side of it as well. I just knew I needed to show that I'm not just BB23. And as soon as I took that shot at Xavier, I had so many more game conversations outside of Big Brother. So I do think it did help my game. Alyssa, it was one of the most uh, uh, emotional parts of the episode last night when uh, you and Angela had to go head to head in the elimination. Uh, what was that like for you having to face off against uh, your friend Angela? It, de it didn't help, obviously, going against a friend and the best competitor in there. I felt very discouraged. Um, I knew I was I knew I wasn't going to win it. I mean, let's be real. I'm not going to be like, yeah, I, I had a chance. Like, I really didn't feel it. And then going against someone you really care about and you really want them to be there. I just don't know how to have that fire in me, I guess, when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, so it definitely sucked. But also, I was just so happy that she got to stay. So it was like, I'm sad. But at the same time, it means Angela's not leaving. So I was just excited for her, honestly. So we don't know yet now who will be joining the Team USA. Uh, would either of you be open to doing it or even more so going to the challenge proper version if you're asked to do that? Like, what what, what do you think your future with the challenge would be? Um, I don't think I'm going to be asked for the international one. Um, if I was, I would have to see if the timing is right because I do believe that would be filmed much sooner than the other ones. And I did just do two shows um, in one year. Um, so if the timing was right, I'm definitely open to it. Um, I never want to say no to an opportunity and the MTV one. I mean, we didn't know this USA thing was going to be a thing. So I always mm -hmm. said out of any show, Big Brother and the Challenge were the only ones I would do. So I would do um, the MTV one as well. Yeah. And obviously I feel like at 
this point, I need a little bit of redemption. So um, I'm open to whatever opportunities come. You've got a great way, story yeah. to come back, Desi. <laughs> you know, justice yeah. for Desi. Yeah, justice, justice for, for Desi. Desi. Get it trending. <laughs> and, and and Desi, when you were watching how the whole uh, you know uh, TJ's final played out, uh, was there anything that they did that you saw that really would have been in your wheelhouse, or anything you saw that was like, actually, I'm really glad that I dodged this bullet. I mean, I feel like I could have done well at all of those things. Um, Eating onions? I, I actually love onions. Wow, okay. Um, and I have eaten garlic because I thought it was like good for my immune system. I've eaten I'm whole garlic too. cloves. Mm -hmm. Crazy. What'd you say? No, I do that too when I'm sick. I eat garlic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just eat a garlic clove. Um, so again, it's easy to be on this side and say like, oh, I wouldn't have quit. It would have been Sudoku, garlic. no problem. I, I'm not amazing at Sudoku, but I can do mm -hmm. Sudoku. Just keep your um, gloves on while you're doing it in the cold. Get the gloves yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think part of that was like their gloves were soaking wet because it had been raining for 12 hours mm -hmm. straight. Like I was literally in the hotel room like, ooh, yikes, we're still out there. And mm -hmm. it was pouring rain for hours and hours. Mm -hmm. um, so in my head, I'm like, I feel like I could have done all of those things. But who knows when you add the elements and yeah. lack of proper gear and all mm -hmm. of the things. Mm -hmm. has, has Enzo sent you a present or anything since the show? Flowers. You would think. <laughs> Flowers, yeah. An edible arrangement uh, even, yo. Yeah. None of, yo, right, yeah. Uh, none of the above. You know, he's from the streets, so maybe they don't send edible arrangements where he comes from. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I haven't really heard from Enzo. Since. Okay, maybe it's coming. Maybe after the finale. Argentina, I think that was where things ended for us. Yes. Brian, anything else? No, that's it. I, Desi, uh, we need to get you back. It was horrific the way you went down. I, I'm still fuming. I was fuming the whole time. I'm fuming more now. Just you deserve that chance. You had it. You deserved it. Thank you. Thank you. I feel the same way, but you know, I've had I've had more time to heal from it than you have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh Alyssa and Desi, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.